With me right now for Bar TV, another exclusive for us is the Sevens Rugby legend, Sir Gordon Teachings. How are you, Sir Gordon? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you enjoying the lovely weather here at Wong and, of course, the rugby? Oh, I mean, it's outstanding. Great facilities. It's a great tournament. You know, the, the depth or strength of the teams that are here are amazing, really. And uh, I think there's four, four Fijian teams here, very, very strong. There's three New Zealand teams here that are quite strong as well. And just overall, it's a, it's a great tournament, certainly with a lot of potential. Yes, definitely. And the prize money, of course, $12,000 for the women, 20000 for the men. It's one of the most lucrative tournaments. You think you're entering a team next year? Well, it certainly attracts good teams, doesn't it? And um, I'm certainly looking from a New Zealand perspective. It would be a great opportunity for us to, to bring over a side here to, and build towards our World Series tournaments. And, and with the Olympics in 2016, we're going to need tournaments next year to build into that, going into the World Series and then obviously to the Olympics. Yes, of course, you have one of the best or probably the best record uh, for sevens in the world all time. What's the secret to success in sevens? Well, our game is all about conditioning. You know, and you're playing in conditions like this. It's a, when I talk about conditioning, you've got to be the, the fittest rugby players in the world to play sevens. It's a demanding sport mentally and physically. And, and I think one of the keys for us over the years has been the, the sacrifices that players have made towards their conditioning levels. And it's not only that, it's also the sacrifices you make around nutrition. It's the, it's the big package, really, because it's an Olympic sport. It's, uh, you're playing in front of 50, 60,000. Uh, you're accountable on the field. You can't hide. And, uh, and fitness and pace and all the ingredients of skill sets etc are a big part of a, the top sevens player. So I guess being a top sevens player what goes into a normal week? We spoke to Jesse Piranha yesterday he told us a little bit but for the New Zealand sides I mean you guys obviously the best in the world what goes into a normal week for you guys? Well obviously when you're building into a tournament all the hard yards are done back in New Zealand we work very very hard and then when you get in to the countries that you're going to play the particular tournament. It's all about technical, technical and building in towards the tournament so you go in really fresh. And then of course in the tournaments it's about uh, producing consistent performances. You know, you look at each game like we do as a final uh, because uh, there's no easy games now in sevens and you're looking to, to win a tournament to, to win six finals and uh, that's the challenge that, that faces all players. Yes, and for the layman out there, obviously possession wins tournaments at the end of the day. What other tactics go into the sevens game? Oh, there's lots of tactics. I mean, you have to now. You need, I think, to win a tournament now, you've got to have a, a very strong 12. You know, you can't just have a strong seven because if you only have a strong seven, you know, the demands on them playing every minute of every game is quite extreme. Get injuries, then you look to your bench. And so if you've got a very strong bench and the difference in skill sets is not too great from the starting seven, then you've got a very, very good chance of operating and playing very well. Yes, and as far as this tournament goes, uh, who are your favourites to take out the tournament? I like the Wellington team. Yeah, Wellington are going good. They've, um, this is their, their second tournament. They played last week again. To be good at this game, you've got to be playing it and training it. But Tavita, you know, from Fiji, they look the, the, certainly the form side. Uh, I mean, Fiji could send four or five teams to any tournament. They'd all make the quarterfinals. They've got such depth. They know the game inside out. They've played it since they're five years of age. You know, I'd love to see Wellington get up and, and certainly win this tournament. It'll be tough. They've got a tough semi ahead of them. And if they get through that, then anything can happen in the final. Yes, and obviously an Olympic sport now, the Sevens. So great room for grassroots rugby. So uh, I guess development players, where, where are you picking those guys from these days? Well, over the years, since I've been coaching the team, this is my 21st year, I've had, I think, 43 players that have gone through the All Black Sevens team that have gone on to become fully fledged 15 aside All Blacks. If you look back at Jonah Lomu and, and players like Christian Cullen many years ago, they launched you know, they launched their careers out of Sevens. And I mean, that's where it's going. We still use Sevens as a development tool I suppose for players to still become All Blacks but now we can be have full time professional sevens players with it being Olympic sport. Yes and of course the players get to travel all around the world now Hong Kong, Dubai, places that 20 years ago they never would have thought they would have entered uh, playing rugby How's that on the players and, and is it exciting all the time? Well, you go to nine different countries now. Well, it's going to be ten next year so, you know, for World Sevens Series tournaments. And I was a, a young rugby player coming through. I, I certainly look at Sevens as, a, as obviously a real key for me to see the world. And that's what's happening now. But again, um, it's going to grow. The sport's going to continue to grow. And then globally, unbelievable, particularly around Asia as well, Japan. They'll never compete with the big boys in 15s, but they will in Sevens. And, and as we've seen over many years... A lot of these minor nations or minnows are growing with the game of sevens. Look at Kenya, look at Canada. Teams now that can push the All Blacks, they can push Fiji, Australia. At any time, on any given day, they'll beat them. And that's sevens rugby. 
Yeah, definitely. Thanks for your time, Gordon. So, Gordon, we really appreciate it. And one last tip, who's going to be the player of the tournament? Have you got anyone in your sights? Mate, yeah, you're looking at a lot of players. There's a few players out there that are certainly putting their hand up, but I can only pick that after I've seen the semis and the finals, but too early yet. But uh, a good sevens player is all about producing consistent performances, and there's two or three of them out there at the moment that are playing particularly well. Thanks very much, Sir Gordon. We really appreciate your time. Cheers. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, eh?